Magneto. Is my mask on straight? The Masters of Evil recently abducted two of my X-Men, Jean Grey and Nightcrawler. Colonel Fury has placed a priority on saving them. Apparently, he feels that by locating the wayward X-Men, you will also uncover the headquarters of the Masters of Evil. Yes, with the aid of Cerebro, I've discovered Nightcrawler is in Latveria. Nightcrawler's location really comes as no surprise, although I must admit I'm puzzled as to why Jean isn't with him. But there's no time to hesitate. To get to Latveria, use Doctor Strange's Orb of Teleportation. It will send you there instantly. This is an uplink Beast created, so that I can access all of Cerebro's functions, even though I'm miles away. It's a large device located in the sub-basement of the X-Mansion. I use it to locate mutants around the world. No, but it can be dangerous to the untrained mind. That's why I will only allow the most experienced of telepaths to use it. Jean Grey and Emma Frost are both quite skilled at working with Cerebro. His real name is Kurt Wagner, and he's perhaps the kindest soul I've ever met. Hailing from Germany, he is devoutly religious, despite his somewhat devilish appearance. Oh yes, he's been with the team for years. His mutant ability to teleport has saved the X-Men hundreds of times. Jean is quite a talented telepath, and very powerful at telekinetics, more so than she realizes. And that power carries a grave danger. If she expends too much energy, there is a chance her personality will be consumed by the Phoenix. The Phoenix is a malevolent entity, capable of great destruction. Of course, come back any time. Cyclops. Storm. Captain America. Cyclops. Magneto. Wolverine. The Hulk. Let's hit him hard, team.
We're on the clock, people. Let's roll. Hello, Captain America. Welcome to the Sanctum Sanctorum. Hello, Black Widow. Located in Latveria's capital city, it looks like nothing more than a medieval castle, but it houses some of the most advanced technology on Earth. 
Doom prefers to use robots for security. These Doombots, as they are called, closely resemble the man who created them. They were visiting Dr. Moira McTaggart on Muir Island when an army led by Ultron attacked. Not seriously. Ultron's team did not waste time with unnecessary battle. They fought their way into the lab area, trapped the X-Men in containment fields, and then teleported out. Originally, I was a ballerina, but at the news of my husband's death, I became a spy for the KGB. I discovered the truth, that my husband was alive. He had become an agent known as the Red Guardian, and his superiors wished him to sever all ties to his past. It was no trouble at all. Hi, what can I do for you? That's the Orb of Teleportation. It's for transporting people to different locations. Yes, I guess since he's the Sorcerer Supreme, he's the only one who could create such a powerful magical item. It's a very complicated machine that was designed by Professor Xavier to detect psionic energy. When the X-Men first formed, he used Cerebro to locate mutants with newly emerging powers. But now, it's primarily used to save people in trouble. Ah, don't worry about it. Things were a little touch and go at Mandarin's palace, but the team did a good job. I'm sure you'll have no trouble in Latveria. I invited him because he's the only one who can locate the missing X-Men quickly. Xavier is one of the most powerful telepaths on Earth. And there's that added incentive that he's the leader of the X-Men. S.H.I.E.L.D. analysts think it has something to do with the theft of the mutant amplifier from the Omega base. If the mutant amplifier were used on Nightcrawler, he could teleport anywhere in the world. <laughs> and with Jean Grey, well, I hate to think what could happen. If her psychic powers were augmented and then she transformed into the Phoenix, she could tear the Earth apart without giving it a second thought. It was originally created to battle Hydra, a terrorist organization run by Baron Wolfgang von Strucker. Yes, there was a time when S.H.I.E.L.D. became so large it suffered from traitors within the organization. But with people like the Black Widow in key positions, we'll never have that problem again. No problem. 